Last week, Target sold 85 Squishmallows for a total of $892.15. Small Squishmallows sell for $8.99, and big Squishmallows sell for $12.99. How much of each type were sold? Okay, so first we're defining our variables. Um, we want to know how many of each type. That's our unknown. All right, so we're going to say, let's do S for small and B for big. And we can even make ourselves little notes, right? The small ones are $8.99 a piece. The big ones are $12.99 a piece. We want to know how many of each. Okay, let's write our variables. I mean, our equations, excuse me. Here's what we know. First thing we know is that Target sold 85 Squishmallows. So the number of small Squishmallows plus the number of big Squishmallows is 85. Then I know that every time they sold a small Squishmallow, they made $8.99. So I'm going to take the number of small Squishmallows and multiply it by $8.99. Okay, and then I'm going to take the number of big Squishmallows and I'm going to multiply that by $12.99 because every time they sell a big Squishmallow, they sell it for $12.99. Then if I add, this is how much they made selling small Squishmallows, this is how much they made selling big Squishmallows, and if, the, the, if I add up those numbers, the total that they sold was $892.15. Okay, so here's what we have. We have a set of equations that's really very, very similar to this situation. Okay, now the difference is that it's like bigger numbers and there's decimals, but you know what? We don't care. We're just going to use a calculator and we're not going to panic. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, oh, this is $8.99. I wish this was negative $8.99. I could say this is $12.99. I wish this was negative $12.99. I prefer to just grab the smaller numbers when I can. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to make this, this is 1 right now, and if I multiply it by negative 899, then I can make it into negative 899. Now look, this equation is just going to get copied, and here is where I'm going to need to do some math, and I'm going to go grab myself a calculator. And here we go. So I have negative 899 times S is negative 899S, negative 899 times B is negative 899b. And here is where I'm just going to very carefully type things into a calculator and not make mistakes, right? This is negative 899 times 85, right? We know that a, a negative times a positive. We know it's supposed to come out negative. Perfect. We get negative 764.15. Notice I'm being really careful. I'm writing really neatly because if I miss a number here, right, it's going to really suck and I'm going to have to go back and find my mistake and that's going to take me forever. Here, I'm just copying. Okay, now, look, this is negative 899 plus 899, that cancels. Okay, now here, look, here, I'm gonna like show you a little trick. This is already in my calculator, so rather than clear it, I'm gonna just do this math first. So I have 764.15, and I'm adding, I'm adding 892. 0.15, and what do I get? I get 128, right? Which makes sense. Look, see, they both end with the same 15 cents, and so it makes sense that I'm just going to get a clean 128, right? This is 128, $128, okay? Here, um, I want to point out to you, I don't really need a calculator for this. 99 cents minus 99 cents, like, that just cancels. This is 12 minus 8, that's 4, okay? Now, you could put it in your calculator. That's fine. You'll get the same answer, but this is 4B equals 128. I'm going to divide by 4. And I get B equals 32, right? Again, you can be really careful. I already had 128 in my calculator. I'm dividing by 4. I get 32. So the number of big Squishmallows looks like 32. And then let's see. The small plus the big is 85. So the small plus the big is 85. I'm going to subtract 32 from both sides. And the number of squ small Squishmallows, 85 minus 32, is 53. Okay, now before I write my sentence, let's just check my answer. I can see 53 plus 32 does add to 85. And then let's just check the total. So if it's big Squishmallows, look, I'm gonna have 32 of them, 32 times 12.99, and look, I'm gonna put it in all at once. Plus, so that's the big Squishmallows, plus I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna buy 53 small Squishmallows times 8.99, and what I'm hoping when I press equals is that I get this number here. And I do. So my answer is correct. So I'm going to write target sold. Look, 32 big squishmallows 
and 53 small. There it is. Okay. Notice it was really similar to my first example. The only difference is that there's these big long numbers and you're just going to be careful and use a calculator and not worry about it.